Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. <laughs> this is FJ. <laughs> I actually miss doing sit down videos. Mas masarap pa rin talaga ang magpag-usap sa inyo eh. <laughs> Feeling mo naman may mga taga subaybay talaga. Anyway, I just really wanted to talk about my invitation as guest speaker in one of the high schools of our barangay here in Tignapuluan. Yes, I was invited to be one of the guest speakers of Manay National High School grade 10 competition and a grade 12 graduation wow. ceremony. I did not say no because of the opportunity to really talk about uh, things that are inspirational and empowering to my fellow Tignapuluanans. By the way, Manay is a city in Barangay Tignapuluan in our far-flung barangay. Our school is like the mother school of Manay National High School. Although I'm not really from Manay but I'm still from Tignapuluan so Basically, we would consider a guest speaker who comes from that place, who comes from the community, and who can inspire the graduates and the computers during this very important moment in their academic and day work. I am very grateful to the faculty and staff of Manay National High School for considering me. I recorded a video myself. It was just very short because I was aware of the time limit. I am going to show you the screen recording of that of that talk that I did and of course the wrong video that I sent to the school I hope that this will also inspire you guys I really hope so but if not or you have any other thing in mind just feel free to comment down below but I am going to stand firm with what I believe that I really uh, wanted to empower my fellow Higaunons because I'm actually Higaunon I was wearing I beaded a, a tribal beaded necklace which really symbolizes or represents who we are being ethnic minorities being Higaunon. I wore that and I even spoke a few lines from the Higaunon language although I am not very articulate yet but I really wanted to make the people feel that I am one of them. We are Higaunon because we are in a Higaunon, we are in an IP community and so we have to accept that. The point of my message really is to empower that there is greater, there is more by just being um, I mean by being a Higaonon, being an I an IP. That's what I talked about in the speech. So on that na masinabe, just watch, here's the video. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in for a great treat today. Our next guest speaker is a man who believes that the illiterate are not the people who cannot read, but the people who do not know how to learn. For him, the greatest measure of education is never projected merely by test results and grades because life is the true examination of every teaching and learning process. Therefore, it is not about being good in school that matters most, instead it is about being good in life. He studied bachelor in secondary education major in English language at Liceo de Cagayan University and masters in teaching English as a secondary language at University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippine. Our guest of honor is a talented man who formerly works as a segment producer and news reporter at GMA Network. Also, he is a former instructor at Southern Philippines College and Capital University. He is a certified trainer at American English for Educator and the Philippines Ambassador for Youth Opportunities. He is currently teaching at Tignapaloan National High School. With all these achievements, we can say that he is one of the pride of Tignapaloan. We, we are, are deeply honored, honored to have him as one, one of our guest speakers, speakers for today. So, so please, please welcome, welcome our distinguished speaker, Mr. Francis J. M. Dammit. How is everybody? My respect to our school's division superintendent, Dr. Jeremy L. Lombardo. Our assistant school's division superintendent, Dr. Alicia E. Ahai. Greetings to the parents and learners of Manai National High School. Thank you to the faculty and staff of this beautiful school. Thank you for having me in this momentous event in the most unprecedented time of the COVID-19 pandemic. As your guest speaker, allow me to talk about your role, our role as indigenous peoples, in our community, in our country, and in the world. Graduates and computers, gone are the days that if you come from an IP community such as Tignapuluan, such as Manai, the only backstory we can have are merely about abuse, discrimination, illiteracy, underemployment, teenage pregnancy, 
poverty and armed conflict. I challenge you to make our story different from this day onwards. Join me as I look forward to that day that in Nakuluan, that Manai, an indigenous community, have become the birthplace of great men and women in the fields of medicine, law enforcement, engineering, science and technology, agriculture, public service, and education to name a few. Dearest graduates and completers, I beseech you to take this by heart as I word out one of my favorite verses in the Bible, Matthew chapter 23, verses 11 and 12, that the greatest among you be the servant of all, for whoever makes himself great shall be humbled, and whoever humbles himself shall be made great. Mga sulog ko hindi na panay, stay humble. I know that from the doorsteps of Manai National High School, ready as you have proven yourself stronger and wiser, because by reaching this far, it only means you have survived all the challenges of the new normal. So with all certainty, you can conquer the world, go places, and take on any role you want. Just always remember to never forget to look back and give back to your alma mater and the community it serves you serve that that in your greatness you have remained Thank you very much and congratulations the historical bash of 2020 2021 Thank you very much sir for such an empowering message Maayad haan law How is everybody? My respect to our school's Division Superintendent, Dr. Cherimi L. Limbaco, our Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Dr. Alicia Ianghai. Greetings to the parents and learners of Manai National High School. Thank you to the faculty and staff of this beautiful school. Thank you for having me in this momentous event in the most unprecedented time of the COVID-19 pandemic. As your guest speaker, allow me to talk about your role, our role, as indigenous peoples in our community, in our country, and in the world. Graduates and completers, gone are the days that if you come from an IP community such as Tignapuluan, such as Manai, the only backstory we can have are merely about abuse, discrimination, illiteracy, underemployment, teenage pregnancy, poverty, and armed conflict. I challenge you to make our story different from this day onwards. Join me as I look forward to that day that Tignapuluan, that Manai, an indigenous community, have become the birthplace of great men and women in the fields of medicine, law enforcement, engineering, science and technology, agriculture, public service, and education, to name a few. Dearest graduates and completers, I beseech you to take this by heart as I word out one of my favorite verses in the Bible, Matthew chapter 23, verses 11 and 12. Let the greatest among you be the servant of all, for whoever makes himself great shall be humbled, and whoever humbles himself shall be made great. Mga sulod ko dini taman ay, stay humble. I know that from the doorsteps of Manai National High School, ready as you have proven yourself stronger and wiser, because by reaching this far, it only means you have survived all the challenges of the new normal. So with all certainty, you can conquer the world, go places, and take on any role you want. Just always remember to never forget to look back and give back to your alma mater and the community it serves. Because for me, that will prove that in your greatness, you have remained humble. Thank you very much and congratulations, the historical batch of 2020-2021. Basta yun na yun. <laughs> so God bless everyone. Congratulations to all the graduates and completers of the pandemic school year 2020-2021. Again, this is FJ. Thank you so much for subscribing.